Welcome. Today I thought it would be fun to sort of do a highlight on some of our favorites from this year. It will include homeschool curriculum, but it will also include books that we read that were outside of our regular studies. Welcome to my channel, Learning with Boys. My name is Rachel. I'm a homeschool mom. I have four boys. I have graduated too, and this is our 17th year of homeschooling. And today I want to share some of what would be our like top picks this year, 2024. So I would have had 11th grade going into 12th, and then I would have had 6th grade, and then he just finished up his first semester of 7th grade. That is what my two boys are this, this school year, a senior and a 7th grader. So I have some things related to curriculum, and I also have some books that we read that was outside of our studies. So if you've been following me for a while, some of this is going to look familiar to you. If you are new here, I hope that you find something new or something that would be helpful to you. I am going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with some things that were from my high schooler last school year towards that we used throughout the year and one towards the end. So he did do American history last school year. It was actually year two of a curriculum, Heart of Dakota. So it was modern history from America. And he used this as a spine. It is a living book curriculum. It is America, the last best hope. Now, he used this one the first year. So I do want to mention both. This author, William Bennett, did such a great job. And this is great for high school spine if you need something for American history. We actually highly recommend the the curriculum itself, Heart of Dakota, History 1 and 2. But if you just need some spines, these are perfect reads. And what really helped is that my son does not enjoy reading. But these were on Audible. Now, they are perfect reads for easy flow, full of a lot of meat, though, at the same time. I actually got this book at the library and actually read through some of it because I, I knew what he would enjoy and that definitely I enjoyed reading it. So I want to say that those are one of our top picks. All right, something else he used for history and I have mentioned this one a lot and that is the mystery of history. Now, this is one of our top picks because we all enjoyed it. Actually, I read a lot of it out loud, but then we got to the point that my high schooler was just taking off on his own reading it. Yes, the one that didn't enjoy reading. So that's a little hint there that this book is really, really good. We have used book one and book three, and I would say that this is probably our favorite out of them. Another curriculum that we actually did together was the Pilgrim's Progress. Now, this is an all-in-one curriculum, and it is from Answers in Genesis, but I think I purchased it from Masterbooks. But it's really good. It has the book in there, and then it has a lot of information in the front, and there's answers and questions after each chapter. We did not use it to the fullest, but this was our first time reading through this. So we would read a chapter, I would pick questions here and there, and we would really just discuss out loud. So it was helpful to have those questions. There's a lot of little explanation notes throughout the chapters also. There's a lot of specific things, like when it talks about the wicked gate, it gives you some biblical examples of why that is talked about and what that means from the Bible. So that was really good. Another book that he used with his science. So he did use a curriculum from master books and it was astronomy for high school, but this was the very last book. So we read this towards the end of his 11th grade year, which would have been like back in April and it was taking back astronomy. It's not a very thick book, but it is by Jason Lyle. It has a good biblical worldview. It really gives you a good view about creation and young earth and just your view of God through astronomy and just really good biblical worldview would be great for if you just wanted to use this by itself for like an apologetics class or a Christian worldview class. So I do want to recommend that. We really did enjoy that. My son, as he's gotten older, has become more interested in apologetics. Now, something else. Now, these are, I do want to mention that these are just some of our tops from this school year. I have been doing videos since my 12th grader now has been in ninth grade and there's been lots of books and curriculums over the years that have been our favorite. So this is just this year. And this year he did have to do economics, but he really did enjoy this economics for everyone. It's by Compass Classroom. It really gave you a good overview of the purpose, 
how we're supposed to be a good steward of what God has given us. So this was just a part of what he used for economics, but this is the book that comes with it. And it's pretty much everything that's talked about in the videos, which is really just the man talking to you, but using, giving you visuals that you can totally relate to. So, um, and the book is that wording plus questions at the end of each chapter. I do want to mention one book that it's not one he actually read, but he listened to on Audible. And that is another thing that has been really a top pick for us. And that is using Audible. I know it's a little bit costly, but we have used it for so many books, even just in this one year. And for one that doesn't read, I know that he'll get a lot more books in because he will take advantage of that. And the book that he probably would say was his, one of his favorite was The God Smugglers by Brother Andrew. And I'll link a picture right here. If you're not familiar with that book, it is about a young man. He probably starts out as a boy at the end of World War II, and then he grows up and joins the military. I think he is from Amsterdam. I can't even remember. I could be wrong about that. Um, but he gets saved a little bit later after really a rough life, but God really gives him a burden for countries that don't have Bibles. And so that's why it's called The God Smuggler. He's smuggling in Bibles. That is definitely more of a high school book um, or young adult. It's a really good read. I do want to mention that my middle schooler has listened to another version of Brother Andrew, but it was the one that was by Christian Heroes Then and Now. And this is definitely a top pick. This has been a top pick for several years of our homeschool family. Um, we always enjoy their books. My son, my middle schooler has probably read over a handful of these this school year, and we probably have listened to several also. His favorite he read recently was probably Douglas MacArthur. I think it was his third time reading that one. Like he does enjoy these. So they're Christian heroes then and now, but they're also American heroes then and now. So I do want to share this as one of our top picks for this year. I also will share a link below for 10% off coupon if you're interested in any of these books. Okay, for my middle schooler, this school year we are studying early American history. So I know it was didn't sort of correlate with his brother, but my middle schooler loves history in general, but he really does enjoy the modern history, like of World War One and Two. So it was enjoyable last year to be able to study church history with him, but at the same time get to enjoy what some of the highlights of his brother's history. So now we are into early American history and some of the books I want to mention that have been some of our top picks this year. And most of these books I think are new to us. Even the curriculum that we're using at least to this seventh grade year, not so much the sixth grade year are new to us. So one book that was new to us and it's at the library so i'm going to post a picture of it was poor richard by james dowry and this was more of a read aloud along with his history and he really enjoyed it i've never read that book he liked the way it read and the story about all that was going on the book which is mostly about benjamin franklin so the other book that we have read is actually one of our spines so we do use heart of dakota for him also which is living books they use spines, they have living books. Now this would be considered one of the spines and it was George Washington's world and it was a Geneva Foster book. And after I, he was done with it, I'm like, oh, it's over, you're done with that book. So we did read some of this together, but he really read a majority of this on his own and he seemed to really like it. It was not a hard read and he enjoyed the history in it. So I wanted to share that as a spine. I know that's used in a lot of different curriculums also. I'm going to back up just a little bit and talk about a book he read last year, which was more of a devotional, and that was books by Bob Schultz, Boyhood and Beyond. And I know I mentioned this a lot last year, but this is for you if you're new here or if you're just maybe getting to the point you're like, oh yeah, I want to use that book. Um, this was a great practical wisdom for becoming a man. Now, my older one had Everyday Battles, also by Bob Schultz, Knowing God Through Our Daily Conflicts. He has, I want to say, four or five books, and I feel like they build on each other. So this was more for like the sixth, fifth, sixth, seventh grader, and just an example of some of the chapters. And he uses like everyday life, like stories that he's went through, or he knows that men have told him. So it's really good how he applies it 
um, to manliness, like life. One is leadership, learn to like it, life is doing, meeting God in the morning. That's just a few of the chapters. So this was really, really good. So I do want to say that these were some of our top picks for this past year. Now, a couple other things for my now seventh grader would be his Bible that he used this school year. And this sort of surprised me. It was Bible Truths, The Life of Christ by BJU. I just happened to have this on my shelf. So I thought, this is what we're going to use. <laughs> and I liked the idea of, we have the Old Testament one too. I liked the idea. I thought, well, I really would like to go through something that is like an Old Testament, New Testament. And I already had it. And his, one of his brothers did this, but it's been many years ago. And that's why I had it. But it really went well. He really enjoyed the application along with the scripture that he was reading. So there's pretty much some scripture that you read and then there's um, talks a little bit about what you read and then there's some application. And I think that's really, especially being a middle schooler, you just need, really need that application to apply to your life and where you're at now. And I think this is perfect for that age. So another thing that I feel like is definitely a top pick. I was a little worried it wouldn't be, but it is this ex exploration education, the standard physical science he is using this school year. Now, it comes with a kit. I have done a video. It's more of like an unboxing, telling you about it video, but you know, he gets to play with electricity and do all kinds of fun things. So there's a box full of experiments, hands-on video. I will link the video I did on it below, and I'll probably do a final review towards the end of the school year. But at first I was like, he really liked it. And then it slowed down and he just was sort of nonchalant about it. And now he's really liking it. He likes the experiments. Um, he, is, he is remembering the terminology and all the vocabulary. So this is definitely a topic here. I also say, we have talked about what we're going to do for science next year. And he said, can't we just keep doing this or something like it? So if you do know anything like this, let me know. All right, and definitely his math. Um, Learn math fast. I've also done a video on this. I'll link all these videos below, but this is something after much research and prayer, the Lord has led us to. And I do have a coupon code for this below. They did give me all this curriculum to use, but so far it's been a top pick. So we're very thankful for it. He has finished, he is about finished with this book. He has one test to do, and then he is done. And then he gets to start the next book. So I talk a lot about that in the video and explain how that works. So I'll link that below. I'm just going to mention a few books that were outside of regular studies. I'll mention one that we read together. Now I have done what we've read, what he's read, sixth grade read. I need to do an update because he's read a lot more like what he's read this semester outside of his studies. I need to do a video on that and maybe even an update on myself. So let me know if you're interested in that below. And I will also link what he's read. I think I did something for fifth grade and sixth grade. So, but something that we did, and I think I did talk about this in one of my other videos, was The Boys in the Boat. And this is the true story of the American team's epic journey to win the gold at the 1936 Olympics. This is the young reader, adapted for young reader. But it was so good. I can't imagine what the actual original is like. So I really enjoyed this. I feel like it was almost some things I was like, I think this is okay. Like I'm reading it to him. So I felt okay about it, but I'm glad we did it together. So it is adapted for young readers, but it's definitely fine for, for an adult too. But it is about some people out in the state of Washington, especially one of the men and just the roughness of growing up and what he went through and how hard they had to work back then. And I really think these kind of books are great to be reading with your boys. So a couple books that I read and then I'll share a couple of his favorites and The Hiding Place. So I am actually trying to encourage my senior to listen to this on Audible. So this, this was a really good book. I read it many, many years ago, but you know, it's funny when you come back and read a book again, you just, you think about so many different things that you may have not thought about when you were younger. So this was a really good book. And God's Rules for Holiness, Unlocking the Ten Commandments by Peter Masters. And this, I wish I would have read earlier. My husband had encouraged me to read it, but 
this would be a great family type devotional, especially with older children. I think it might be too much for like a lot of littles, but I would encourage you to maybe to read it first and then share with your family. Okay, a couple of his favorites. I'm just sharing three and then I'll be done. Um, Basher 5-2. He read this earlier, the true story of the F-16 fire pilot, Captain Scott O'Grady. Now this was really all my boys have actually read this book and they've all liked it. So that should tell you something and let me know if any of your children have read this. He really likes things about war and military anyway. So it gave him a lot of new things and new terminology to think about. Um, the Yanks are coming United States in the first world war by Albert Marin. And he really enjoyed this. This is by beautiful feet. There is another book he read. He read through this one and the other one and I couldn't find it. And, it's more about the World War II, but he read through these quickly and he really enjoyed them. Like he likes these type of books. He did read Sergeant York and the Great War. He enjoyed this a little bit, I think, because it was just, we are familiar with the story, but this was written by Sergeant York. So there's a lot of talk, the Tennessee talk back then and the slang is, so he said he actually had to try to figure out what some of it was saying, but he read through this pretty quickly and really enjoyed it. So I wanted to share that with you. All right. I think that was it for this 2024 top picks for our curriculum, for what we've enjoyed reading through this year. And I will link all those videos I mentioned below. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please, I would love to talk with you. And I do appreciate you all watching. I hope you all have a wonderful week and we will talk to you again soon.